In this video, I'm going to show you how to measure in inches by using the heights of the line. So right over here is an inch. And in order to be able to measure in inches, you're going to need two skills. The first is to be able to notice the different heights of the line. So let's take a look at this. The tallest lines are whole inches. The next tallest line is the halfway mark, or half an inch, or 1 over 2. If we cut that in half, you'll notice that the next tallest line is a quarter inch, or 1 over 4. If we cut that section in half again, the next tallest line is eighths, or 1 over 8. And if we cut that eighth section in half again, we'll see that the shortest line is 1 over 16, or a sixteenth of an inch. Besides looking at the heights of the lines, the other skill that you're going to need is to be able to count in odd numbers. Odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and 15. We can keep on going, but we're just going to stop there. So let's put these two skills together and let's label the inch. Let's look at the second tallest line, which is the red line. As you know, that's half an inch or 1 over 2. Moving on, if we look at the next tallest line, or the gray line, that's a quarter of an inch or 1 over 4. To find out the next gray line, all we have to do is count by odd numbers. So if this gray line over here is 1 over 4 or a quarter, this line here is 3 quarters or 3 over 4. Let's try this again but with the yellow line. So the next tallest line or the yellow line is 1 over 8 or an eighth of an inch. So if we count by odd numbers, this next one should be 3 over 8. This one should be 5 over 8, because we're counting by odd numbers. And this last one here is 7 over 8. Finally, if we look at the shortest line, or the blue line, we know that that's 1 16th of an inch, or 1 over 16. So again, if we count by odd numbers, this one would be 3 over 16. This one is 5 over 16. This one's 7 over 16, this one's 9 over 16, this one's 11 over 16, 13 over 16, and finally 15 sixteenths. So let's apply this by looking at a ruler. Suppose I asked you, where is this green arrow pointed at in inches? Your very first step is to figure out how many whole inches this green arrow has passed. So this green arrow has passed the zero inch mark, it's passed the one inch mark, but it's not yet passed the two inch mark. So what we're going to do is we're going to write one and something over something, meaning that the green arrow has passed one whole inch and some number of fractions. Next, to figure out what that something over something is, you want to focus only on that inch where the arrow's at. So ignore everything else, like this. Now I'm only looking at this inch segment. To figure out the bottom number, or the denominator, we're going to look at the heights of the lines. Remember, the second tallest line are half inches, or 1 over 2. Seeing as they're not the same height, we know the bottom number is not a 2. It's also not the same height as my quarters or my 4s, so the bottom number is not going to be a 4. It's also not the same height as this one here, so our bottom number is not going to be eighths. However, the screen arrow lines up with the 16, so we know that we are dealing with sixteenths. So we write 16 on our bottom number. Now, we are going to find all the sixteenths, and to do that, we're going to find all the lines that are the same height as the one that the green arrow is marking. So here's one of the lines, here's another, 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 
and here's another. So the very first line is always 1, and from there, we start counting by odd numbers. So the next one is 3, which is 3 over 16, 5 over 16, 7 over 16, 9 over 16, 11 over 16, 13 over 16, and finally, where are green arrows at? 15. So, we're going to write 15 where the question mark is. Our answer is 1 and 15 sixteenths. For my last example, I'm going to use an actual tape measure that you might find in the shop. So before we begin with our example, there's a few things I want to draw your attention to. The first is that the top part of the tape measure is in inches. And you know because there's 16 little lines in between each of the inches. And the bottom half of the tape measure, this section down here, is in centimeters. And you know because there's 10 little ticks in between each centimeter. Each of these ticks are millimeters. So when you're measuring in inches, you want to make sure you're using the right section. The second thing that I want to draw your attention to is the way the numbers are printed. Remember, the inches are always the longest line. So, this is the 1 inch mark, this is the 2 inch mark, and this is the 3 inch mark. And it's kind of deceptive because lots of students will think that because the 3 is underneath this shorter line here, that this is where the 3 inch mark is. It's not. It's just the way the tape measure is printed. Remember, the longest line is always the inches. So this is 1 inch, 2 inches, 3 inches, so on and so forth. In this example, if we were asked where is the green arrow pointing to in inches, you always go to your very first step. How many whole inches has this green arrow passed? We know that it's past the 1 inch mark, it's past the 2 inch mark, and it's past the 3 inch mark, but it's not yet past the 4 inch mark, which is this tall line over here. So, we're going to write 3 inches and something over something. Our next step is to just focus on this inch segment right over here. So to remove all the distractions, I'm just going to cut out everything else. And to help you view this better, I'm going to cut out the centimeter section and zoom in. Now we're just looking at that inch segment. Our next step is to figure out the bottom number and we're going to look at the heights of the line. So the second tallest line over here, that's the half inch mark. As you can see, it's not the same height. So we're going to go to the next height, which is this one over here. As you can see, it's still a bit taller than this line. So we're not dealing with quarters or one over fours. Now, this line is the same height as this line which means we are dealing with eighths. So we're going to write eight on our bottom number. Your next step is to find all the lines in that inch that are the same height as this one over here. So here they are. Now, starting with the leftmost arrow, we're going to label that number one. After that, we're going to start by counting in odd numbers. So the next one is 3, or 3 eighths of an inch. This one's 5, or 5 eighths of an inch. And finally, this one is 7, or 7 eighths of an inch. So the top number here is going to be 7. So your answer is 3 and 7 eighths of an inch. And so, thanks for watching, and I wish you all the best with your measurement.